Did you know nearly one in five adults in Barbados have diabetes? Did you know diabetes is one of the leading causes of vision loss in the world? Regular eye screening can save your eyes. Contact the Barbados Diabetic Eye Screening Program today at 243-3937 to find out how you get your simple digital eye screening done. The Barbados Diabetic Eye Screening Program. Saving eyes, saving lives. It is 9 o'clock and it is Saturday and it's time for you to hear 15 minutes which should be like your tea, sugar free. 15 sugar free minutes with the compliments of the Barbados Diabetic Ice Screening Program in partnership with the Barbados Community Foundation at the Maria Holder Diabetes Center. Wait, I forget my manners. Good morning to you Larry. Hope you're enjoying your vacation or semi-vacation. And hello and good morning to all the lovely people tuned in to VOB this sweet Saturday morning. But when we say sweet, we mean not too sweet because you know we're watching with sugar. And we have the Maria Holder Diabetes Center to guide us in reducing our sugar intake, especially if you are a diabetic. You should know by now all the services that you can get at the Maria Holder Center. We talk about it every week, but in case you don't, listen to this skit. Hey, what up, Alfonso? You walking about the place looking very dry now? I would like to think with crop over coming this year and think you'll be looking more sprightly. Crop over? You are you? Trying to keep on top of this deputy's condition I got here that's got me stretch out. Firstly, my foot here be giving me some problems. So that means I can now gotta go and look to see a podiatrist. Good dear. Then I'm going to want to get a general diabetic checkup, so that means I will have to go to see a diabetes doctor for that. And then I'm going to want to talk to a psychiatrist, because living with you like you can't my stress levels. Oh, you can't you stress levels? Will you just be nagging me? Every time I put my hand in my mouth to eat something, you just be telling me about how it's bad for my diabetes. So I would like to talk to a nutritionist so I can find out what it is I should be eating. But all in different things, I don't even know if I can be able to got enough money left to enjoy any crop over. I keep telling you, the Maria Holder Diabetes Center is the one-stop place where you can access all those services at a reasonable price. Right there in Warrens, you can be seen by a diabetic specialist, nurses, nutritionists, podiatrists to help you with that foot. And psychologists to help you recognize what a good woman you got. There's a lot of things for true. And that is not even everything. Soon and very soon, they will have a brand new dedicated vascular department opening up. Vascular department? So what that is, bro? All right, Al. You see, cousin, you dancey foot always fell up, right? Yeah, that one has always got me, though. Oh, it is that you did so malicious as you always running she moat. I never think that she moat would swell up. But instead, it's she foot that's be swelling. Are you doing gay? <laughs> Alfonso, try and behave. Well, what people call bar circulation, when your foot swell up, is the kind of issues that the new vascular department will be addressing. Well, you has convinced me. I definitely making just one stop and going to the Maria Holder Diabetes Center located in Warren St. Michael. All I got to do is get up on the bus and get off there. Easy peasy. And don't forget, they're still screening people's eyes for diabetic retinopathy. Just call 243 Eyes. That is 243-3937 to make that appointment. Well, I'm going up there next week, self. I will be able to get my diabetic problems straight on at one time. I still got little money left over to spend on crop over. No, you're talking. If they could only help me get rid of a nagging woman, I would be sick. <laughs> Are you not even taking you on here? We now welcome to the show a patient of the Maria Holder Diabetes Center, Kyle. Welcome to the show, Kyle. Hi, good morning, Peter. How long have you had diabetes? I was diagnosed with diabetes, type 2 diabetes when I was 20 years old, so I'm 30, 34 now, so 14 years there about. And tell us, how did it impact on your life? Tell us a bit about the journey that you would have had living with diabetes. Well, it's had a, uh, a serious impact. It's impacted the way, obviously, you, you can eat, uh, how, you, how you eat, and it's just generally, it generally impacts your lifestyle and makes you, makes you have to be very cautious of what you think to put in your body and and taking your medication and making sure that you're up to date with the, with, with the 
checkups and all that. So it's a it's a it's a very very serious disease, very serious commitment to 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 deal with it in a responsible way. Kyle, you would have had diabetes at a fairly young age. As a youngster who might have wanted to go out and party, how did it impact on your socializing? Well, it didn't really have an impact. Um, it didn't have an impact on 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 that. I, I don't drink alcohol, um, which which if I did, I would have to stop because of the the sugar content in alcohol. But no, I, I, I was fine drinking water when I was out, so that, 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 it didn't really impact going out or anything like that. Okay. It didn't impact me. Like, in my day-to-day activities, it didn't have an impact because you just want, want to make sure that you're, you're on track with your, with your nutrition and, and your exercise. You can do everything that you would have done if you did not have diabetes. You have been attending the Maria Hola Diabetes Center. How the, has that helped you? It's a very personal type of medical medical facility. Or It's not a typical type of like doctor's office, is what I mean to say. Almost like family, they, they they always call you to remind you of, of your checkups. The, the doctor is very 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 helpful, and it's a it's a place that if you go there and they realize, okay, well, hold on, you you have some issues with with your nutrition or, or, or your diet, then they, they could send you to a nutritionist that is also there. So it's kind of a, a, a one stop shop for. Uh, treatment of diabetes and hypertension. Uh, so I would advise anyone that is that, that has that's affected by diabetes to consider going there for treatment. This is a good time for me to remind you about getting your eyes checked for diabetic retinopathy. We talk about that every week. You should do it by now. You get your eyes checked, yeah, do Well, call two four three eyes two four three three nine three seven and make that appointment today. Also, make a note that coming in July, there will be an outreach program where diabetic eye screening will be coming to a community center near you. So very soon, you're going to be hearing some more information on that as time grows closer as we encourage you to look after your eyes. If you are a diabetic, you should know how important your insulin is. You should also know the importance of storing it and also taking it correctly. But just to remind you and keep you on track, because that is what we like to do on this show, we are going to bring in Diabetes Specialist Nurse of the Maria Hola Diabetes Center, Tracy Bushell, to share some tips on how to utilize insulin correctly. Insulin is required at diagnosis for people with type 1 diabetes, but people with type 2 diabetes and during pregnancy may also need to start insulin. So with the help of your healthcare team, you can find an insulin routine that along with healthy lifestyle choices will keep your blood sugar near to normal, which in turn will help you to feel good and stay healthy. Here at the Diabetes Centre, my role as a diabetes specialist nurse is to help guide our clients with choosing the correct insulin for them and provide them with all the necessary education, tools and support that is required. So I'll share some key points regarding taking insulin to ensure it has the best chance to work correctly and help with blood sugar control. Storage here is key in Barbados because of our climate, so it's important to keep insulin in the fridge most of the time or all times if if you can. If you have to take insulin during the day and you're out and about, it's advisable to purchase a small cool bag to ensure that it stays cool. And also insulin must never be frozen because this will damage it. If it becomes frozen or even develops ice crystals in it, it should be thrown away. The place on your body where you inject insulin affects your blood glucose level. Insulin enters the blood at different speeds when injected at different sites. So the ideal sites for most are usually the abdomen and outer thigh area and also ensure to rotate the area where you're injecting to ensure that the insulin gets absorbed correctly but this can be discussed with your nurse or doctor. Timing of insulin is key as different insulins will work at different rates i.e. a mealtime insulin or a long-acting insulin. So ensure you're well informed about the timing from your nurse or doctor and how long before a meal you have to give it, at what time of day you need to give it. And if necessary, have it written down clearly until you are more familiar with the routine. And this is always helpful if you are a carer for a person on insulin. Here at the centre, as I said, as a diabetes specialist nurse, my whole role is around education and support. So can 
can assist in all aspects of insulin. Also, as you know, we have other services available, diabetes screening, retinal screening, vascular screening, as well as doctors, other nurses, dietitians. The Maria Holder Diabetes Center with their diabetic eye screening program offers a standard of service that equals or surpasses any you might receive internationally. And very soon, there will be a dedicated vascular department added that will be the centerpiece of a new national preventative campaign that will highlight the discovery of early circulatory problems in the limbs and extremities of at-risk persons. So if you are diabetic and listening to your radio right now, you need to make an appointment and get your eyes screened. You can reach them by calling 417-0305 or 243-3937 to make that appointment. The last 15 minutes you heard on your radio was brought to you with the compliments of the Barbados Diabetic Ice Screening Program in partnership with the Barbados Community Foundation and the Maria Holder Diabetes Center. Until next time, take care of your eyes. Did you know nearly one in five adults in Barbados have diabetes? Did you know diabetes is one of the leading causes of vision loss in the world? Regular eye screening can save your eyes. Contact the Barbados Diabetic Eye Screening Program today at 243-3937 to find out how you get your simple digital eye screening done. The Barbados Diabetic Eye Screening Program. Saving eyes, saving lives. Thank you.